Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with me, Hollow, continuing our DLC playthrough. I am a knight, the knight Hollow. It looks beautiful, this sword. It does, it really does. Welcome to this iron passage. Apparently, it's made of iron. As you can see, it looks like underneath, this is the underneath of, um, like this land that we're in right now, this old iron land. And I've got a lot of questions. Firstly, I wanted to see what kind of sound that made. That does sound like it's actual iron, I guess. But then again, it, against any surface, it makes that sound, I suppose. There's a train about to go by just as we begin. And a lever in the middle of this room. Very suspicious. The floor looks like it's got lava somewhere underneath it. I wonder if enemies are going to jump up out of it. Maybe. So we have this lever here. But I'm going to check out the area first. I'm going to be clever about this. Ah. Alright, so it looks like an ambush is happening. Some cells down here. I have no idea why they would be in cells like this. I think they look, they're either cells, like prison cells, or maybe like mine shafts that ended abruptly. So there's a lot of enemies hiding in here. A lot. And what is that? It looks like a petrified lizard. Ally required a head. Oh, hang on. I didn't even see him. There's actually a person there. I can't tell whether he's an enemy or not. He looks very strange. But he's a human. Maybe he'll help me. Maybe he petrified that lizard. I don't know. But clearly there was fire lizards down here. Now, we have one other way we could go. Which is over here. But it looks like a... Yeah, it's a drop, so I don't want to do that yet. Um... Now, fuck it. We'll do the drop first. Screw it. I have a feeling that this is the right move. Because when you pull that lever, I reckon it'll lift up those things and we have to fight those enemies. And by not doing that, I think this will save me some trouble. I think. Damn it. They're ranged. They attack so fast. I was talking to Gubiak about these enemies. They're like, um... They remind us a lot of the dragon protectors in the, you know, up in um, the airy, dragon airy. They're high movement speed, high damage, high uh, strength and poise. So it's like really hard to like hit them and stun them. And that's the difference basically with uh, those enemies and these is that these do have a uh, low poise. So you can actually stun them and knock them back like that, which is really helpful. They're, I would say they're easier to deal with than the enemies originally talking about. Alright, I just decided I'd just poison that bitch to death. Alright, down we go. I see you, bitch. I see ya. I see ya. Alright. Slowly does it. It's a very strange underground cavern. Hey, there's that guy again. I don't know if it's the same guy, but... He's there. He's doing something. Oh, no. He's an enemy, isn't he? Bitch. Oh, I don't know. He did some sort of spell. Why would, it, why would an ally cast a spell there? It seems to have slowed us down, actually. It's like a debuff what it is. It's a debuff. It's happened to me. Can't tell. Alright. You're annoying, aren't you? In an awkward position. He dropped down. He's there. He's running around. He's, he's throwing a lightning bolt somewhere. I am nervous right now about my HP. I'm going to just uh, try and escape the situation and heal up. It's just throwing bolts in random directions. It, okay, that one hit me. Okay, whatever that guy is, he's not an ally. No, he's not. I don't know why he's doing this, but I'm just going to kill him. Maybe we'll find out. Why would he attack me like that? Using dark magic, though, as well. Note that fact. They, they were using dark magic. Another one. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Fuck this. Oh right. Yeah, that curse, it completely gets... Basically, it makes me really... It makes me move really slowly. And I can't roll. I fat roll. Thanks for just walking over to me, by the way. You made that 
significantly easier for me. No, don't don't even cast anything, mate. Just die. It's a plane going by now. Oh man, I'm I'm happy. I've not played Dark Souls in a little while and got some tea. I'm gonna drink some now. I got some tea and I'm just sat down and I'm playing Dark Souls and I'm exploring. I'm, like, I'm happy about that, you know? It just makes me feel good. Alright, you. Okay. Alright. Um, I got hit by an arrow. It stunned me. Then I got hit by him. And then the flames that he did, you know, when he, he did the swing, mid-swing, hit me. Lowered me even more. Roll past his attack. An arrow hit me. That was pretty bullshit. I'm not happy with that. Oh no, we're quite far back as well. Alright, this time we're going to try pull this lever instead. See if that has an effect. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, and I, I figured it would lift this up, but maybe this will actually make it easier. Maybe. What I just noticed is in the background, there's some flames being shot. That's not good. Yes, the cleave. Okay, right, the flames have stopped. Okay. So, it lifted this up as well, but it was like a brief thing. And during that time, that was fire shooting fire. But it's petrified, isn't it? So maybe it's a, on a timer and I have to be really quick. Any uh, illusion walls here? I don't know. I'm going to be playing Lords of the Fallen soon. The playthrough, I'm going to start that. It comes out the 28th of October, but I'm going to be in Germany at that point. Um, so as soon as I get back, I'll start doing the playthrough of Lords of the Fallen. If you don't know what it is, it's this really fucking cool storyline of someone who's sinned. Apparently, the idea is that he's sinned and now he's fighting his sins or something like that. And it's, it's this really cool, dark-looking world. And it really reminds me of Dark Souls in a big way, to be honest. Um... I just watched the trailer. If you're not if you're not seen it, I recommend you do. At the end of this, I'll just pause this and go watch it. Google or Steam, whatever, um, Lords of the Fallen. I've had it suggested to me a lot of times, and it honestly looks really good. Oh no, the lever. The levers. I can't pull it again. Lame. I thought there was gonna be a timer and I could make it, but I guess not. I gotta run around here again. Weird. Ah! I died again and apparently the lever is reset. There, see, it does open. And then that activates a flame, which I can roll through. Or I could just die, and then it drops down. Holy shit. How do you get through that? I rolled through the first one, and then I got hit by uh, one of the guys, and it stunned me, I think. And I got hit by the fire, and then I was just dead. Holy shit, how do you make it through that? I figured it was just wiser to just bypass it all, and just try and get through the, the wall. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. What? What? Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's another demon. It's another smelter demon. There's just one here. This is where they came from. This is the place they came from. Deep underground where we are right now, that is where they came from. I don't know why they're here, what made them, but this is clearly where they came from. And those robed guys clearly are like acolytes. They're clearly in on it together and they're using dark magic and shit. So, yeah, it must be where they came from. Maybe they were formed out of iron and these dark magician guys had something to do with, uh, you know, making them a physical thing, like have, well, technically some sort of brain or something, you know, and made them be able to fight. Oh! Hey, holy shit, survived. No, I didn't. Fuck, that was really dumb. Holy shit, his sword looks fucking amazing. Even better than the red one. And technically, this is like a higher form of flame, isn't it? It's warmer. It's hotter than... Red Red flame is like with oxygen. But blue flame is way more... In oh, no. 
way more intense as well, I was going to say. I need some space between us. Oh no, I'm dead. Yep. I ran out of, I ran out of fucking, ah, I ran out of stamina at the worst possible time. The issue here is, um, you know, the original Smelter Demon was tough. You know, there's no denying that. There is no denying the fact that the original Smelter Demon was tough. But this is hard to actually even get anywhere near him. Like, it's hard to, like, the actual fight that gets you to the room is really tough. Apparently I don't have any flame resist rings, which is really, really bad. I'll take this gradually restore HP then, that one will help, like, counteract the uh, flame. And I'm really wondering if it'll make my whole life easier if I get through this bit. I made it. Okay. Can I just get near him, please? Okay. How so how did I not how did I get away with that? I don't know. I don't know, but he's dead now. This asshole is dead. Oh, look at this. This statue thing. They've enchanted a dead lizard, it seems, to shoot down there. And I I, I gotta know. I gotta know. Does this have an effect? No, okay. I thought it might explode or something. Right. So what is this place? This surely will help me. Is it a secret? You know, maybe shortcut. There's a lever here. Where the fuck? It goes off in so many directions. We have a lever. I heard you. I heard you coming. I just heard the sound of a basilisk, guys. Bear in mind that that lizard, that file is over there, it's petrified, technically. So... There. Fuck, there's another... I've got to do it again. Holy shit, what is this horrible place, man? There's loot there. And there's enemies in here. More loot. Two enemies, two bit, three enemies, three bits of loot. We have another lizard here. Alright, I want to search the rest of the area before we do this. It's really hard, but it is possible. Maybe it'll make the fight easier. I don't know. Maybe there's like a hidden thing. That looks like a fucking illusion wall, man. There's a drop down here. Don't really want to go down there, man. Let's just try what we know. We know this works how it does, so... All right, come on. Made it. Just. All right. Hey, bitch. You mad? Or half a victory? Yeah. Holy shit! This is so tense. It's just like a underground maze with traps. You. Revenge. Yeah, I thought it would say that. No, you don't get to do that, mate. You don't get to do that. Alright. Sucks that he fell down, admittedly. Whatever. Okay. Where does this lead? I'm praying for a bonfire that's closer, man. Alright, there's the asshole ranged guy. Right, so basically, it seems there's two paths to the smelter demon. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Whatever. Come here. No. No. Oh. Fuck you. Okay. Ow. Asshole over there. Old growth bomb. Cracked red eye orb. Possessed armor gri oh, okay, we're gonna find some lore. Awesome. Awesome. The great bow. Possessed armor great bow. Great bow wielded by possessed armor. Yeah, so that's what they were. Yeah, possessed armor. Crafted Cra <laughs>
Crafted with multiple layers of iron, resulting in almost excessive sturdiness, these suits of armor were once decorations until the black fog ruling the tower seized control of them. The black tower that we were talking about last time. Right. Now, can I actually effectively use this bow? I would be very interested if I could. Uh, it needs 40 dexterity, not a chance. Just have a look at it. Wow, it's huge. It's huge. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, man. That is cool. Alright. Shame we can't use it. Oh, I can't use that either. Shit. There we go. Alright. Is this asshole down here? They don't actually aim at you, they just fire it, which is the worst part, really. There we go. Just actually kill this one this time. So that's, it's like a harder version of like, it's like skill based, but it means you can skip a lot of the pain. So I definitely prefer that route. No, I'm not even going to try and fight you. you. You'll just give me a hard time. Okay, you moved a lot faster than I thought you would, admittedly. Here we go. I don't know what attempt this is, but it's an attempt. I wish I had a ring or something of fire protection. Maybe I should go back to my jeweler and... Uh, oh yeah, the old iron crown... Uh, uh, old iron crown. The, the iron fortress, the iron keep originally did have that, that vendor that's there. I think he does sell fire resist stuff. So maybe it's worth going there if I struggle with it this time. Alright, if it's going to do that, then it's time for me to enchant. Perfect. Good. Getting better. Take my time. Don't go for double hits. Just take w one hit where I can. Because occasionally he'll do that, and I don't want to be left without stamina. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to back off. Give him some space. There we go. You get a power attack in there. Time to back off. Take a life gem. Just take my time. It's going to do an explosion if I stay there. Try and take this dried root. Regret. <laughs> Holy shit, my HP. Oh my god. I completely had it that time. I totally fucking had it that time. And I was like, oh, I'll just take a dried root. Completely forgetting that taking a dried root. That's to, you have to specifically take off each like tiny bit of root and then make it into a mixture and then and then once you're done grinding it for seven hours you can then eat the dried root or some shit. What the fuck? Why does it take so long to take a dried root, man? Okay, it's just a root. Put it in your mouth and chew, you bastard. Ugh. Okay, he only has a curse bite ring, which incurses curse resistance, which I may actually need. Let's just quickly check if I have. Um, a ring that will increase curse resistance because I'm going to need one of those later. Um, increases poise, poison resistance, bleeding resistance, nullifies death. Yeah, I don't think I have a way to stop curse, which I'm really, really, really going to need actually for that. Remember that dark tower where we we're being cursed when we we're walking around it? Yeah, I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be very crucial. Ah, increased fire defense. We do actually have one. All right. Um, don't know why I couldn't find that, but we do have one. Good. But yeah, we're going to get that cursed ring while we're here as well. And I died. Fuck. No, I rolled, man. I fucking rolled. That was the slowest fucking swing I've ever seen, ever. It was like, oh, am I going to do it? Oh, am I going to do it? Oh, am I going to do it? Roll. Nope. Wrecked. Dead. Oh, I've been here too long, man. This is what Dark Souls does to a man. Holy shit, I totally fucking had it that time as well. I I, I had it. All right, so we're back. Welcome. Um, Yeah, so you may have noticed I'm in different armor. You know, I was wearing uh, some fire resist armor earlier. Yeah, that made sense, didn't it? You know, it's a 
It's a thing born of fire. B born of fire, right? Yeah, made from fire and, and, the, and the light. The smelter demon. That's what it is. A smelter demon. So, it's quite a lot to do with fire, that. So, fire resist. Yes, on a flame. Right, makes sense. Only this is blue flame. Right. Oh, blue fl that's That's more intense flame, right? You know, that's the stronger flame. That would actually mean that it's doing even more fire damage. No. No, Gooby had messaged me and was like, How you doing? And I was like, I'm at the smelter demon too. And he's like, oh, yeah, right, yeah, um, yeah, how's that going? And I told him, and he's like, yeah, that's about right. I actually just skipped it. And so, and I was like, you know, I don't, I, no, no, I don't want to just skip. That would be lame. That would be lame. I want to do it. I want to do it. So he was like, all right, I'll, I'll tell you something. I'll tell, I'll tell, hold, I'll tell you something. That's not fire damage he's doing with his blue flames. It's magic damage. It's fucking magic damage. That makes no sense. I f fucking... I fucking hate this boss. I... Like... I'll be... Uh, I'll be honest with you right now. I think this is the most tilted I've been in Dark Souls 2. Fully. Like, angry. Like, actually angry. I don't know whether that's a good thing right now. But, how I feel right now is they have taken Smelter Demon 1, right? And that guy was an asshole the first time you went against him. Really annoying, but eventually you overcame him. Because the area before him wasn't that bad. You could skip it, you know? You could just run past everything, pretty much. And just get in there. In this, doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. It's quite a fight to get to the boss fight. And then this is way stronger, and his attack type is way more annoying because he's got slower, weirder moved move set. And it feel right now it feels like the Sunken Crown DLC, where we're against those free grave robbers, and it's a gank squad, and it's like, why have you done this? That's how I feel right now. Okay, now. Just na now is when you can hit him. Ne okay, wait four days. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, I staggered him. Holy shit. Oh, now I wasted stamina. Now. Maybe I'm dead. Oh. Nope. Made it out. And. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot express to you the sense of relief I have just experienced. Just true relief. I don't know, I have mixed feelings about that. It's the first boss in the Dark Souls DLC, like out of so far everything I've done, that has been a challenge that has not been like, well, this is just, I'm being ganked, or, you know, oh, I understand its movement, I'll beat it. You know, the Queen, I understood how it worked, beat it. The Dragon, I understood how it worked, beat it really quick. This one, I understood how to beat, but it required flawless execution understanding of what the enemy boss actually does how it works the things you you need to enchant your blade with the right thing you need to bring the right armor you really need to fucking know to beat that guy i'll be fucking lucky i guess because it is his attacks were a lot slower than the original smelter demon but also quicker at times it was like fighting a giant hide knight or something man I can't explain. I can't explain how like tough that was, but I do feel quite a large amount of satisfaction having beat it at last. So I suppose that's a positive thing. But I am very pissed off that these bastards would just rehash a boss like that in a DLC, because Dark Souls One DLC was absolutely phenomenal. Everything was brand new and different, and we were just blown away by it. 
I'm not feeling very blown away by any of the bosses we've faced. They've just been kind of cool. But I've not been blown away by anything. So I'm not sure how I feel. You know, I'll come to a conclusion at the end of the Dark Souls DLCs. So far I'm interested in the lore and learning these backstories and stuff. But i got to say, from a gameplay aspect, level design was really good. Bosses? Disappointed with so far. So far. We'll see if that changes. What the fuck is going to be behind this guy? A Pharos mask. A Pharos mask? Oh my god, it's horrifying. Oh my god. <gasps> Visions of man. Giant. Giant dad. It's dad's fa it's a it's it looks like dad's face from Dark Souls 1. Oh my god. Giant the giant dad build. Oh my god. It looks like that. It's horrifying, man. It's horrifying. Look at that shit. Look at his fucking face, man. That's that is horrifying. A mask depicting Pharaoh's contraption. Tears flow from the eyes of the mask drenching its wearer. Well, that's just convenient. The majority of Pharaoh's creations are perplexing to reasoned men. And this mask is no exception. Yeah. Seriously, look at this shit. Mate. No. I'm out. Peace out, bitches. I am done with your shit. Never again. I am a broken man now. I am a broken man. This place again. The fuck? Overwhelming regret. Was that optional? Was that boss fucking optional? Was it not relevant? Holy shit. It's the entrance. And the bonfire's right there. Overwhelming regret. Oh my god. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. For more Torture Hollow. I mean Dark Souls 2 DLC. In which we probably have a lot more fun than the other places. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about this, this whole, like, area, this tunnel of hell. But it honestly really reminds me of Dark Souls 1 and in Blight Town when you face the spider boss, Quellag. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Hollow, you've been you. See you next time. <laughs>